Sarah Poopy. The day has come. It's pretty crazy after talking about it for so long and spending months planning it that we are finally here. I'm holding on to something better. One of my gifts for you, my amazing bride, is the Palmetto Rose. No two roses are the same, just like our love for one another. Also like our love, these plants are ever growing and enduring. With proper care, this rose will last for decades and our love for eternity. I'm so blessed to have you in my life. Words can't speak to your beauty, intelligence, humor, personality, and kindness. In the 3,341 days we have spent together, my love for you continuously grows. We are surrounded by our friends and family as they have all come together to celebrate our love for another. We will never have an experience like this again, and I'm so excited to enjoy this day with you. Love, George. I, George. I, Stephanie. Take you, Stephanie. Take you, George. To be my best friend. My faithful partner. And my one true love. I promise to encourage you. And inspire you. I love you truly. Through good times and bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you. To lift you up when you are down. And to love you unconditionally. <laughs> through all our adventures. And life together. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to present to you for the first time as a married couple, Mr. and Mrs. George and Stephanie. <laughs> George truly compliments Steph. He has a calm and patient demeanor when Steph is stressed and has the ability to bring out the very best version of her, accepting and loving every amazing quality she has. A lot of things have changed over 20 years of friendship, but one thing will always stay the same. Our friendship will never fade. For this, I am eternally grateful because everyone should have a Steph in their lives. She truly deserves someone like George, someone who is just as genuine, as dedicated, and as passionate as her. I'm glad that George found someone to share his weirdness with. But honestly, is it weird to have a passion for something that other people are not passionate about? My answer is no. I hope you both have a long and happy marriage, full of following your passions, living freely, loving each other, and always giving cheers to mutual weirdness forever.
I can't keep bottled up inside 